You'll have to forgive me. I could not find the shooting bags to save my life. So we'll be using a kid's play mat and my sweatshirt. But today we'll be taking a look at the Benjamin 392S. In its current state, the scope and scope mounting rail and clamps are the ones that you get in a package deal from Pyramid Air. And initially, I had um, a little bit of issues with them swaying around a little bit. I hadn't locked tight them yet, but I just tightened everything down nice and tight and we'll see how well it holds up. I know Baker Air Guns offers a, uh, a block that slides over that you can attach a scope to, which everybody reviews as being very nice and works fantastic. So if this fails to meet my expectations, I will be purchasing one of those. I'll let you know. All right, let's get started. Alrighty, get started here. What we're gonna do is we're shooting in the basement because the weather's shit. We're gonna stick with uh, five pumps for tonight, or for today's tests. So, we'll start off with five pumps. We got a few different pellets I'm gonna test out. We'll see what kind of accuracy we can get out of this gun at 13 yards. Right now, we're gonna start off with the uh, JSB Diablo Exact Jumbo Heavies, 18.13 grain. Here we go. Okay, go take a look. Take a look. I mean, that's as one ragged hole as you could ask for. Granted, we're only 13 yards away, but I mean, that's, I guess, stacking pellets with that, that uh, ammo. Let's test some more and see if we can get any groups to open up. I mean, yeah. Four shots. Okay, next we're going to be checking the next decently widely available pellet with the Crossman Premier Domed Ultra Magnums. 14.3 grain. I've had good luck with these in 177 caliber in all my guns. So I've purchased some in 22 caliber. Let's see if it can meet the mark. At 13 yards, it should be okay, but we'll be able to tell if they're opening up this close. They're probably opening up a 
little bit further too. Here we go. And we're experiencing power issues, if you can't tell. Is that four? Four shots? It is four shots. All right. So take a look. That is exactly what I was talking about. That would not be a very accurate pellet to use out of this gun. There's a big difference between four shots there and four shots there. Let's move on to the next pellet. Definitely them ones are moving quite a bit faster though. They buried in there quite a ways. Okay, the third pallet we're gonna be testing is the Benjamin Discovery 22 caliber 14.13 grains. They're a lot like the Crossman Premiers, but maybe a little bit better quality, maybe a little better consistency. Let's see how they do through the air rifle. Take a look. Okay, and this is why you gotta test multiple different pellets. I never touched the scope at all, but you can see the first pellets that I had it pretty much sighted in with were fairly close to the, to the bullseye, a little bit to the left. The second ones were a little left and high, and these third ones, aside from that one, which could have been me, but it also could have been the pellet. There's three decent shots right there. So these might be a half viable pellet for this distance. Um, you might be able to get away with them. You might have a few flyers. That could have been me. I'd have to... Ooh, I felt pretty confident about that last shot though. But look at that point of impact change from here to here. And that's just by switching pellets. I was still aiming here, but instead of hitting right next to it, I hit up high. So you got to test your pellets and every pellet's going to be a little bit different. Alrighty, let's get back to the review. Okay, here we go. Really trying to get that bullseye. As you can see, I put a few rounds here and adjusted it, and it was just barely creeping over. And then I got to creep over a little more. Just want to hit the bullseye. Here we go. Hmm. 
think we did it. Let's put uh, a few more rounds down range, see what happens. Alrighty, one more. If this will shoot a decent group through a shady scope cam, you know you're doing okay. Let's go take a look. Okay, these are the groups I shot with JSB Diablo Exacts while trying to sight it over. There was that's a five shot group, that's a four shot group. And if you discount this one, which was the one shot from the um, Benjamin Discovery pellets, that right there is a four shot group. That's impressive. Very, very good. Especially through a scope cam. Okay, Benjamin 392S, what are my final thoughts? I am impressed for a 10 pump, 22 caliber air rifle. I haven't run any crony numbers and I will do that soon. Shortly I'll run it over the crony and I'll stick out some, uh, I'll try to do some 25 and 50 yard shots with it and see if it's uh, even decent with 50 yards, who knows. But with the accuracy I was seeing that would actually range out to be 14 yards, but I'm still gonna call it 13 because and give or take so 13 yards i was very impressed with the accuracy for a 10 pump damn and the fact that so far the scope has held up considering it's a uh, getting a lot of uh, bouncing around abuse very impressed one thing i did notice with the accuracy on the pellets these were my most accurate pellets from left to right this is the most accurate this was a very 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 close second and these here were a close third with a flyer and uh, the barracuda hunters there as you can see the one thing that I noticed that I also tried these 15.8 uh, grain uh, JSB Jumbo Exacts, those little guys, I noticed if the pellet had a bigger head on it, it actually put a little bit more resistance when pushing it down the, the barrel. And those were the pellets that I had the most, the best accuracy with. The pellets such as the Premiers and the uh, 18 or these 15. 0.89 grainers, and I think there was one other one that I tested uh, earlier. They had zero, absolutely zero resistance going going in the barrel and being put into the breech. So their head size was definitely a little bit smaller. So I feel like if you have a larger head size pellet and, and it grabs, you're gonna have decent accuracy out of this gun. But if you get a good set and a good box or a good tin of JSB Diablo Exact Jumbo Heavy 18.13 grains, you will not let yourself down. With this gun, you will get repeatable accuracy. I'm gonna have to put it through its paces and see what it does, but so far, as a first thought, hit the button on the way through. As a first thought though, I couldn't be more impressed, man. Very, very nice gun coming in at right around $200 without the package. The package included the scope and the rails and stuff, and that was about $270. But for $270, you get a very powerful 22 caliber 10 pump pellet gun that you know is going to have some accuracy all right well thanks for watching stay tuned we'll get to some more uh tests with it we'll get some crony numbers and some long distance range but this video is getting long thanks for <laughs> thanks for staying tuned on to the next adventure